Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. What's your mind wrapped in? Wrapped around. And what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the World SMP. How's it going? So basically, guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I've done with the base and how it looks now. So it's not godly yet. It's still a pretty bad base, but it's still, it's nice. It's nice. So up here has changed a little bit. Obviously, I've replaced all the cobblestone with stone brick. I've made the uh, roofs made of polished diorite, and I've made the floors the uh, birch wood planks. Um, I do like the birch. I think the birch looks really nice, and... Um, yeah, so I have a lot of cobblestone on me, and I'll get into why in a minute. So this is, I'm putting infinite water source there. That just leads up to the top of the mountain, though. I do want to get a trap door up there, which we'll go do in a minute. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is, I'm also going to show you downstairs. I expanded a little bit this way, added a little flare with these slabs here, and made a nice window here. So, because the sun, or the sun sets always, or the moon and sun always set over in that direction. So it kind of looks nice to have a window there. Um, and I also want to put a window somewhere over here, possibly. Um, you can all see the sunrise is over here, so it, it, it's a nice little base. I built this massive, right, you guys haven't even seen out here yet. So instead of, um, I used to have a little cobblestone thing. I turned this all into a, um, bridge. I built this entire bridge all the way over the river. Um, cause one, I'll be able to find my base a lot easier because I'll see this bridge. And then I have these little posts here, which represent like it's holding up, you know, the land or whatever. And then this is technically the bridge into my base. You can see it says Rye Guys House Bridge. Um... And if we head right over here, uh, we can see that I actually put a um, another gate here if I want to go straight down into the water. Um, so I can do that and go into the water down below instead and then climb back up if I really wanted to. So there's really two ways into the base. Um, and then there's that side, three because you got the other side door there. So I think this looks really nice overall. I think it's a pretty nice base. It's not like it doesn't look amazing yet, but I'm eventually going to um, attempt to scope away a lot of this mountain out of the area and get the mountain out of the picture, which is going to take a while. I want to eventually just get rid of the entire mountain, except for like maybe a little plot of land where I'm going to make like a huge plot up top and get some stilts for it and then uh, turn that into a farm is the idea. But um, that's not the only thing I've been working on. I have a few other projects going on. Um, for one, I think the biggest project is me and um, Daniel. I'm going to say his name wrong. His name's Dan, but his na channel's name is like Daniel Ludus. Daniel Ludus. I'm, I'm, it's it's. Daniel U D U S and it's I think it's Daniel Ludus is how you say it, but I could be wrong there. Go ahead and we're gonna put the trap door upstairs right now. This is before they added the colored trap doors even, I believe. Or wait, no, I thought they do they have maybe they don't have that. Maybe the trap doors are single oak wood. I don't know. Um, but those are made of birch, so whatevs. Uh so let's go ahead here and we're gonna go ahead and put this one, I think let's put it uh you know what we can do? We can get a piece of dirt, put the dirt, uh we'll break this we'll put the dirt right there. And then we'll just uh, put a trap door on top. There we go. That works. Um, and that way no mobs can fall in and just start climbing down the ladder. I don't know if they can do that, but I think they might be able to. Not 100% sure. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the project. My, my big, big project. Now, I've been doing mostly a lot of mining and stuff like that. But I think um, my big project is with Daniel Ludus. And we are going to be working on something crazy huge. So... Uh, many of you guys in the last episode wanted me to do the redstone idea. You love that idea. Um, so we're going to be doing the redstone services idea and uh, selling other redstone things. So right here is our secret project. So it says, Rye Guy and Dan's Haunted Ride. Please do not enter without permission. Secret project coming soon. So it's a secret project me and Dan are working on. Uh, looks like I got some more stone in here, which is perfect. Um, I'm going to keep it as stone for right now. But what we're doing is um, we're building a haunted house ride. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys till it's done what specifically it's about. But um, it's going to be a haunted house ride, like a rail ride. And this is the first room design here. So I'm not sure if they, it's not going to give away too much. But this is going to be the first room design here. Um, it, it's going to need a little more. We're going to put um, some stuff along this wall. And then there's going to be some stuff over this way. Um, there's going to be doors here. As you can see, it's kind of open. There's going to be some glass windows here. Um, and then the ride's going to continue on and turn down uh, this way. So I think it's going to be really cool. Um, how we do this. Um, I've been doing a lot of carving out and it's going to be four different rooms. So it's going to be, you're going to start with the entrance way. You're going to go down to one room, then two rooms and three rooms and four rooms. We're thinking about doing some sort of drop off above lava where it looks like you're going to fall into lava, but at the last second you don't fall into lava, something over along those lines. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, and we have a few weeks to get this done. If not, we're probably going to bring a few more people on the server in to help us complete the project. Cause it is pretty hard what we're doing. And, uh, I've, I've done the layout plans for, you know, what type of items we need, what in like all of that. It's crazy. Um, now, in the last episode, I mostly went over spawn and didn't really show off too much of my base. But there's there's my base from a distance. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go to spawn. And now, last time I didn't show off too much of the shops, but I'm gonna show you guys how the currency system works on the server. For example, um, because one, 
I need um, I need I need some stuff. So we're gonna see if any of the shops are open. And we're gonna see if we can get uh, any items that we need. And if not, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I'll at least give you an idea of how the currency system on the server works. And I'm eventually gonna get my shop up and running, but not not yet. That's not that's not my biggest priority. So let's grab these gold blocks because that's our currency. And let's head over to the to the um the the spawn. And we'll head over there right now. And I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> And we're at spawn guys so i didn't show off too much of spawn last time i showed off the bank and how the banking system works and i showed that there was the globe there and this is sort of like the main hut here or the main building here there's nothing really i don't know what's supposed to if there's anything supposed to be in these rooms or if they're nothing um, or if there's plans to do stuff in there eventually but um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the shops because that's why does why i'm here um so we're gonna go here and close up that so you can see we got corn's block shop we're not really interested in blocks we're looking here for food because I don't have a good food sort of thing going on here. This is a smeltery, not interested in that. The fortune cookie stand. Uh, it doesn't look like, so it looks like here's his items. You got a large chest. You can name the chest, here it is. So what, beetroots, what is beetroots? And what is beetroot soup? I don't know, maybe that's a thing in the new update that I just, well it is a thing obviously if I see it. Um, but let's see, splashes wood shop. Not much has been done there. What do we got here? A post office. Um, a camping wood shop. Um, so this is like a camping store, I guess. Uh, shop inside. Oh, that's cool. So you got like flint and steel leaves, beds. Do you got food? You need food for a camping trip, but you don't got food. Okay, so he doesn't have any food. That's unfortunate. What do we got in this chest? I do like his little shop though. It's kind of designed like that. That's really nice. Um, but we're gonna keep heading out. We gotta, we gotta look for um, something. Okay, here's a sweet shop. Let's see if this is. How much they're charging at the sweet shop here? Uh, one gold block equals one cake. That's ridiculous. No. Four gold ingots for 16 bread. That one sounds more fair to me. Um, I don't know what these are worth, so I can't buy those, I'm assuming, because it doesn't really have a currency system. I want to find something that I can go ahead and make it easy. Oh, we got a slime. Oh, this shop sounds amazing. Oh, this is so cool. I want to use these. Uh, we're going to use the haunted ride. Payment chest. Okay. How many slimes? One gold block equals three slime blocks. Oh, baby. Okay, let's take six slime blocks, and we'll pay him two gold. So this is how it works. You take what you want, and you pay honestly. So I give him my two gold blocks, or his two slime blocks, and there we go. It looks really nice. And this guy does... This guy sells potatoes, carrots. Oh, carrots are three gold ingots. Oh, this guy sells carrots for three gold ingots. Let's go ahead and convert some of this gold into gold ingots, and let's get ourselves... Where's this payment chest? Is this the payments? Okay, so we'll toss him that, and that was nine gold ingots I just gave him? Yeah, I gave him nine, so that's... Since it's three gold ingots per carrot, um, or is it per stack of carrot? Um, or is it per carrot? I have no idea. Um, I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and take, I assume it's, I get three carrots out of it. So we'll go ahead and take our three carrots, and we're going to go ahead and make a carrot, carrot stand, because we need that. This looks like it's an empty shop. I can't tell. Oh, no, there's stuff in front of it. I, I, like, I want to find an empty shop to eventually get started with my redstone stuff and make it super technical and cool, but I'm not worried about it. Oh, here's Rio's shop. Let's go check out Rio's shop. Oh, Rio sells um, magical books. That's really cool, and he renames them with their price. That's really awesome. Uh, Anvil broke. I provided you with a new one, Cody. Oh, that's nice. So people are helping him out. Um, so let's go ahead and let's head back to the... Um, let's head back to our base. Or no, no. First, we're going to head to Rio's base because I want to show you guys Rio's base because uh, you guys all know Rio. Uh, we'll head there and then we're going to head back to my base. So I will see you guys at Rio's base to show it off a little bit. So Rio's base is right up this mountainside. We just gotta keep following the rail system here. And you can see the rail system is really curvy. It's a pain to get to Rio's base, but Rio's base is really nice. So I really wanted to show it off because Rio has like, oh, that's cool. Um, but Rio has a really nice base. <clears throat> see, see, welcome to the guy who dies humble home. Um, so you, you have this little area over here. I think you could do more with that, make that a nicer walkway. Come on, Rio. He's got potatoes, he's got melons, he's got wheat, he's got pumpkins. It looks kind of nice, sort of like a little outdoor, little uh, lake type thing. You can see he's got something over here. Uh, oh, it looks like he has some cows and some chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and take an egg, because, I mean, they'll lay more eggs, right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, they'll lay more eggs. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's head in here. 
and let's see so this is his base you see he's got a music disc there an anvil there and a chest there um, and if we go ahead and go up this way you see he has like a little TV kind of looks like a really nice little area he's got a nice fireplace going on that's sort of like a nice living quarters he's got a pillar in the center if you go over here he's got some armor stands um, and if you go downstairs he has an entire this is like this is the crazy part so he's, you can see he's got gold nuggets and gold there and he's got um, two books I don't know what those are but uh, do I read them you can have your egg back let's read them uh, let's see dear Re Dur Rio one day I oh god I took a dump in the toilet and I wondered holy crap is this really my poopsies so this, these are just jokes. Someone probably gave them these or something like that. Okay, now it makes sense. I'm taking my egg back. It wasn't worth it, Rio. Or your egg. I'm taking your egg back. Um, but he has this really cool system of... Um, he has, So he has water bottles here. And I don't know how it exactly works. But basically, the type of potion he wants to create, he hits a lever and it will create that type of potion. Um, and you, he, it'll add the effects of that potion. And then um, you just flick this lever and I believe it will... It'll automatically brew the potion that... Um, that you want to want created it'll auto create it for you just with a few flick of a few levers it's really cool and he has some mushrooms there's another portal and stuff over there you can see if you come by in here here's the system on it it's not too complex it's pretty simple redstone torches powering um these uh i believe they're for oh no you know what those are for it's for a mix of things um <clears throat> so i'm looking for power purposes because when the power goes into these it'll turn off uh and i'm assuming the power is gonna come from so, for example, what's happening here is the power is running into this redstone, this block, which will turn off the redstone torch if it turns on. And I believe when this is on, it actually locks the hopper. Yeah, see how it's locked? This is not moving into the next thing. So it'll unlock the hopper and it will travel down the system um, so it can be fed into the, mach into the uh, brewing stand, which will then brew the type of potion you want. And then it uses a comparator, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with comparators, but I know it has something, comparators, it has something to do with the fact that, it, um, the amount of items in there, so the cobblestone is just to fill up the extra slots, so it can only take in one other item at a time. Um, but the comparator is basically testing to see if there's a block in that slot, and it's powering, <clears throat> like if it's full, I think it locks it up or something like that. Don't quote me on that, I, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with comparators and how they work. But um, I've, I've been doing a little research into them recently because I'm going to be doing the redstone shop. So, <clears throat> yeah, so it's overall really, really awesome, um, Rio's base. So we're going to do one last thing. We're going to head to my base, and we're going to do some touches, touching up uh, here and there. And then we're going to end off the video. And, yeah, and if you guys like this, I've been doing this new editing style where in between cuts I'm going to do these little, like, cinematic showcase type things. They're not going to be long. But, like, you know, it's like in a TV show when they do those little cuts. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to head back to my base, and, uh, yeah. And welcome back to the base, guys. So, uh, yeah. So, we're back in the base, and the only thing I really want to do is... I thought there was more to do, but after I have a quick look around, I, was, I realized that there wasn't too much that needed to be done. I've been pretty, pretty efficient. But, um... I want to show you guys... I mean, I'm sure you guys know about slime blocks. They've been out since 1.8. But I want to go ahead and show you guys some ideas that I had involving them. Um, originally, that wasn't the plan, but then I realized that, you know, that would be kind of a cool idea. Yeah, I'll keep that there. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what I, what I mean. So, for example, you can do some really cool things with... Uh, here we go. I was looking for sticks. Um, so, we'll put that there. Create a redstone torch, which I can't even hold in my inventory right now. We'll get rid of all this uh, this stuff here. So, there we go. We can hold it now. Uh, so, we, where'd the redstone torch go? Did I store it? I stored it. Okay, there it is. Um, so, what we can do... Is we'll go ahead. Hopefully, when you break the slime block, do you get a slime block? Might as well test this. Okay, so you get the slime block back. That's good to know. Um, but what you can do is you can do sort of like item launchers, I know, and it works with entities. So I'm, I'm trying to think of a cool way to use that ability. Um, so if, you, for example, if you um, if you put the piston face up and you put a slime block on top, and then for example, if I put a torch, oh, not like an actual torch, like the entity of a torch on top of that and then I launch it off, you're going to see the torch launches in the air. You can see that? See the torch actually launched in well, well into the air? So that's what will happen when you do that. So let's, let's uh, like, we can do that with a bigger entity if we want. Let's do it with, like, a trap door so you can see it maybe a little better. Oh, trap door fell off there. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put a polished die right next to it, just so we can get up here and look at this. Uh, so let's put a let's oh let's put a log there. We'll put like a few logs on there. Get get back, or you know, we'll just do another polished die right. There we go. And then what you do is you're just gonna launch. Oh God, I keep picking it up. I, I apologize. We'll get this. Here it is. So if you do that, look at that. Look how high that launches. It gets about as high as my base. So I'm thinking about doing some sort of item elevation system using that. Um, if you can learn to time that properly, you can make a really cool one. Um, but yeah, so that's really it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode of The World Doesn't Be, leave a like, and I may pick one lucky comment in the comment section below and feature it in the next World SMP video. Um, and the comment has to be something useful, like, hey, maybe you should do this next episode. Not just like, hi, rag guy. I mean, I do like those comments, but I mean, I, I, something useful that would, it would look good to feature in the video. So anyway, thanks a ton for watching, everybody. And as always, stay beautiful and peace.